Let's discuss yet another chapter in the never-ending saga of how YouTube's automated system, which is filled to the brim with fuckery and overflowing, quite frankly, and this particular instance that we're going to discuss, how somebody who made a video of them exploiting a glitch within Double Dribble for the NES was used by the creators of Family Guy in a recent episode, so YouTube automatically flagged it, saying, well, that belongs to Fox. Let's back the fuck up here. We're talking about a video that has been on YouTube since 2009. Seven years and counting was used without permission, was used without anybody giving any sort of consent, was used in an episode just for the hell of it. Hey, that, that's fine. But YouTube's system is always going to cater to the big wig corporates that are within music, within movies, within television. And this is just another example of where the fuck is the fair use? Genuinely, where is it? I'm kind of curious because this seems to be a really ass backwards scenario, but yet is just one of many that should be highlighted, detailed, and put out there and shared around the internet so that everybody understands the kind of fucked up bullshit that is happening right now under your noses, happening to channels just like yours, just like mine, to many people out there. And this is okay, this is in no way acceptable. This makes no fucking sense. So just imagine, put yourself in the shoes of this individual, that you make a video and then somebody out there in Hollywood decides, well, I'm gonna use that particular clip. And then YouTube flags it saying that belongs to them now. How the fuck does that make any sense? How, how is it because some have lots of pull, have lots of money, have lots of attorneys and are able to go and leverage their position in such a way to use bullying tactics? Well, that's exactly what it seems like right here. So that's why I want to go and talk about this. That's why I want to go and spread this around, because this is, this is fucking ridiculous. Now, it's, it's, it remains to be seen whether or not that this was malicious on the part of Fox, which I honestly doubt Fox had seen and well, we're gonna go and just flag the living shit out of that, but you never know. But I do know for a fact, we all know for a fact, there isn't a single motherfucker that is using YouTube right now that doesn't know that the system that's in place right now is crippled and broken and really needs to be managed a hell of a lot better. It would be nice if they had actual living, breathing human beings who were behind everything going, okay, well, I can actually evaluate this and find out whether or not this is something that is going against the guidelines and regulations that we have set in place, but guess the fuck what? Those people are few and far between, and you have a monster of a machine that's going around, and it's just like, ban hammer, ban hammer, ban hammer, false flagging the living shit out of things. And this is normal, this is run of the mill, this is every single day, but until we go and say something, until we go and we push our objective of trying to go and fix this onto them, they're not going to. Now. YouTube apparently has been trying to make some kind of minuscule strides in fixing this. And whether or not they're truly going to end up living up to that, whether or not they're actually listening, remains to be seen. And I understand with a, a website like this that has billions of people visiting it every single day, billions of hours of content that's uploaded every single month. I understand that not only is this an arduous task, but this is a very insane undertaking. But keep in mind that if you're going to have something like this and you want it to work like a well-oiled machine, then you get right the fuck behind it. And I'm sorry, but Google, you have deep fucking pockets and you more than would be, you, you'd be easy as fuck to just toss that money for you to go and get employees to go and do this kind of shit. That's the truth. So in the description, links to all of this. As a matter of fact, there's a petition right now that's being tossed around to make sure that this dude's able to go and get his video back. And he should, rightfully. That was his video. That was his content that was taken down for no reason at all. And YouTube is saying that Fox now owns that. Fox doesn't own dick when it comes to that particular video. We're talking about a game that was on the NES that has been out since, what, the 80s, 90s? We're talking about a game that's made by, what, Ultra slash Konami and shit? And this was put onto an episode of Family Guy. Okay, they fucking used it. But the thing is, they don't own that clip. And you can't just go and take it from the original content creator. It makes no fucking sense. And we can't allow... The thing is, if you don't think this is a big deal, this just continues to happen. 
that's the truth. That's one of the things that I always argue when I try to press, is that if you think this isn't a big deal, oh no, who the fuck cares about that? When it goes and happens again, then happens again, then happens 10 times, and then 20 times, 50 times, 100 times, 1,000 times, 10,000 times. When this becomes an everyday thing happening on every single channel, when all of a sudden does it become a problem that needs to be addressed? You don't sit there and just look at one thing and decide that you're going to put up your fucking blinders and shit and not see the big picture. Have perspective and understanding that if this was you, you would want it to be fixed. Just like if this was me, I would want to, this to be fixed. So that's why I'm using whatever little fucking soapbox I have, whatever podium I can go and stand to and discuss all of this to the entire world and everybody else in the comments, everybody else who spread this around on social media, etc., etc., etc. You get the fucking idea. This should be shared. Anyway, this is Alpha Omega Sin, as always, Nerds, Nerdettes, and Gamers Game. The fuck on.